I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Week 3. I feel like this year is literally just getting away from us and I think we say this every year but it's now the 17th of December, it's a Sunday I didn't vlog at all yesterday um, since I've done a night shift on Friday I was absolutely shattered yesterday so I got up, fixed a few of my nails, I'm still having the green nails um, fixed four of those and me and Harry had some for dinner I'll show you what we had for dinner here um, but yeah, literally it's such a chill day. I edited and uploaded Vlogmas Week 2 last night. I need to make the thumbnail for it and do the description, all that good stuff. I feel like last week's Vlogmas was a complete write-off. Um, last week was just so stressful. I was feeling burnt out. Um, hopefully this week won't be anything like last week. Here's hoping. Um, especially in terms of work, it's the last week of term. A lot of the young people go home. It's relieving some stress. <laughs> so hopefully this week is not anything like last week. I do have a decent amount of plans this week as well, so that's making me feel a bit more festive. But for today, I have got up, I've had my everything shower, I've done my hair, done my makeup because I do have dinner with the girls tonight at half past six. So it is now 10 to 3 and I'm gonna start wrapping because I feel like I'm not going to have enough time this week to get it all done. I'm working my usual shift tomorrow and then going back in for a night shift because we're short on night shift again. Um, so Tuesday I'll probably waste half my day in bed but I will have a decent amount of time on Tuesday to get more things done but I'm going to start my wrap in and I'll show you what I've got everybody so far. I'm waiting on a few things still coming and I need to go into B&M and Home Bargains to get hampers and to make hampers up so that's not happening today but I will start off with wrapping some things and showing you what I've got people. I'm going to start with what my mum got for Harry so let me just unwrap it and then we can get it all wrapped. Okay I'm going to whisper because Harry is just through there, but my mum asked me to get Harry a few band t-shirts. So there is a shop on Depop, I'll post the name here, we get a lot of band t-shirts for there. So Harry wanted these, and he actually got this one, but it was in the wrong size, so he gave it away to his friend. So I realised, I'll just get you this in the bigger size. So, like my native t-shirt. And then he also liked this one before we went to download, but So like I said, those are from my mum. So I will just wrap those up now. And the paper that she gave me, <laughs> the paper and tag that she gave me. So I'll wrap these. I feel like I don't have enough space. Okay, first present wrapped of the year. So I work, we put everyone's name in and do a secret Santa that way. It's just, it's a nice thing to do. So the limit was £10 and I went over that for the person I got. So I'll show you what I got her though. I will also put the Depop shop name. Um, this girl likes funky earrings. So I picked her up four pairs of earrings actually. Um, so yeah, here's what they look like. So this pair, this pair, and in this bag there's two Different pairs, a wee love heart pair with eyes on and wee mushrooms. I have this wee silver bag that I haven't used. I think I might just pop them in the bag and put a bit of paper. We label and I'll just pop it all in the bag. That'll do just now and I just need to get a wee bit of chocolate to add into that. Okay, this is already wrapped. Uh, this is my secret Santa for my auntie. 
Um, where's my phone? This is a bracelet I got her. Um, so that's already wrapped. I do need to get a wee bag for this. Okay, I'll do Secret Santa for my mum. So Harry got my mum for Secret Santa. So we ordered her some things. So first thing we got her is the new Celtic DVD. Then we got this perfume. Never heard it before. But my mum likes it. So do you know what? I'm actually going to keep it in the tissue paper. Um, that it came in. Didn't come in a box. I think I will just leave it like this. I'll get a wee bag. Um, oh, I think this wee bag is cute for my mum. Let me just take this tag off because I am reusing it. Right, so I think I'll do my mum's presents now. A Calvin Klein box. I literally buy my mum the same thing every single year. Calvin Klein pants and perfume. Oh cute, they come in a box now which is fabulous. They never used to come in a box but Calvin Klein pants and oh why are these boxes so hard to open? From perfume shop. Oh I forgot we already got this wrapped up. Okay, perfume shop, I got her Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. It's great to see my wrapping skills have not got any better um, in the last year. I have just wrapped this upside down. Right, I'm going to wrap Harry's stuff now and again I'm whispering because he's just through there. But let's start with the first bag. I actually need to print off some like posters for him for concerts for next year so I need to do that tomorrow at work. Let me put that on my phone so I do not forget. <laughs> Oh my god. Right, nah. Right, I need to ask Harry if he's been in here because look what is wrong in this box. Fuck you, Diana. I need to go and ask Harry. Oh my god, it's been in there as well. Anyway, that is so weird. At least they're actually inside. But. New pair of uh, sliders. I'm so confused. Uh, anyway, let me just wrap these up. That has really freaked me out. Right, and lastly, we have this bag. M&M bag. Fully clothes for Harry. Right, so the first bit of clothing is a jacket by the brand Crosshatch. Never heard it before. Oh. Just like a puffer jacket. Next, I have like a fleece. By bench. It is like card kind of kind of material. So it was nice. Then closure London again, never heard of this brand either. But it's like a utility shirt jacket. So it would be really something different. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really like that. That's really nice. I'll put these in the pack, but these are the Brave Soul t-shirts. Just got them in a variety and um, just basic t-shirts. You've obviously seen the Vans t-shirt. These are just two Adidas tops, one black, one white. Cool. Right, I'm going to wrap these off camera. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. Right, so that is all of Harry's presents wrapped. I just need to get the wee bows and wee decorative things for the presents before I put them under the tree. Okay, sorry, you're sitting on top of my Stanley Cup. But I just ran over to the shop and I could have definitely got these for cheaper in Home Bargains or B&M. But I picked up two wee Kinder chocolate Santas. So one is going to go in my work secret Santa bag and one's going to be for my auntie's secret Santa bag. Right, I'm going to write some Christmas cards. So I still have a decent amount of cards for previous years. So we have these ones. Oh, so we have these ones and these ones. These ones, which are cute. These penguin ones. These ones. And also these ones. So I have plenty of Christmas cards. So let's write them. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, so it is now Tuesday. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I was working, came home, slept, and went back to work. So I got up today and went to Home Bargains, and I have came home with a massive bag. It's huge. I literally went in for like five things and came out with this much stuff, but it's fine. Right, so firstly, picked up this wrapping paper sheet because Harry still has presents to wrap. Just silver decorations and, oh, well there's gift tags in here as well. And like paper. So that's for Harry. And then one of the things I actually went in for was present bows. Silver to go with all the silver wrapping paper and I got red and white so pick these up. I think I'm coming down with sand because my throat is <coughs> Jeez -o. Didn't have a big bag selection either but I picked this wee one up to put my and Meg's secret scent in. I've seen these and I'm actually gutted that I've wrote all my Christmas cards but I picked up a packet of Grinch Christmas cards. So these will definitely be getting used next year. I picked them up just now, just in case I'm not there next year. You know what it's like. Picked up two of these. So it's a Christmas planner. So I've picked up one for Georgie's hamper and I've picked one up for me for next year. Obviously I don't need to use it this year. But I'll show you what it's like inside. So it comes with a wee notepad and then your to-do list. And then you open it up and down here we have Plans by month, cards and presents, foods and drinks, and additional notes. So I just thought it was a wee handy planner to have around Christmas time. So me and George both got one. And then these next two things I was going to order on Amazon, but they were a lot more pricey than what they were in Home Bargains. So I've got this tree storage bag. You would have seen these. Everybody's kind of got these now, but it saves you keep it in the box. So that was like £4, which is unreal. And then I picked up the ornament storage bag. So you keep all your Christmas bubbles in that. So very handy um, because I was looking for somewhere to store all the Christmas baubles. So I picked up a lot of Christmas tags. So I did get this pack of 36, all silver and white. Harry can use those when he's wrapping. But then I got these wee ones. So I've got so a 12 pack of these Christmas tree ones. 12 pack of... This one that says Merry Christmas and these ones are cute. A 12 pack of candy cane ones because Home Bargains were doing like a candy cane vibe this year with their decorations which I really liked. Um, I was also going to buy a, Sna Snanta? a Santa snow globe on a train so I might need to go back and get that because it looked cute. And um, what else did I get? Again George if you're watching look away. 
I got George this wee owl ornament for his hamper. Thought that was cute. Picked up these couple snacks. Can't go into home bargains with the snacks, but I will say the crisp selection was absolutely shite. And then some other bits I went in for small cotton pads, large cotton pads, paracetamol, this body wash. Now I love Dove's body wash and I don't think I've used this one before. It's a winter care, winter jasmine. Yeah. It's nice. So new body wash. Um toothpaste and four packs of makeup wipes. So I'm gonna put what I can away and then I'm gonna finish putting everything on my presents. Get in the festive mood again because today and last night it was an absolute write off. Um but that's work. That's per usual. Okay, that is all my presents wrapped. How cute do these look? So, I've got to go and put those under the tree now. Exciting. And then tidy up in here a bit because it's a bit of a mess again. Uh, I don't actually think I have anything else to do that I can do right now. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 20th of December. And I think I'm definitely getting ill. My throat is killing me. I need to go and buy like soothers and strep cells. My throat is killing me. I feel genuinely like I'm coming down with something, which is just great because I have my work stay out tomorrow. Um, but I feel like shit. And I don't know if I'm just literally run down because I didn't feel rubbish yesterday. I just had the sore throat. But we'll see how this progresses throughout the day because I don't like it ill. Um, I literally never get ill. But it's Wednesday, obviously I'm up ready to go to work. It is 10 to 7. Um, I'm going to see my friend Sean after work. We're going to go have dinner. Don't know if we're getting a takeaway or we're going out. If you remember from Vlogmas week one, this ornament is for Sean. And I'm taking a sunglasses holder to him because I ordered two when I got one. Um, and I said I'll give him one because he likes his sunglasses as well. So yeah, that is just my wee update. Didn't end up doing anything else last night. I got a takeaway, which you would have seen um, because we need to go shopping. But apart from that, didn't do much. I uh, was in bed pretty early last night because I was absolutely shattered uh, doing those night shifts. It just knocks you for six. But, um, I will catch up with you later. Hi. I uh, have been to work, been to see Sean, had two vodkas, and now I'm absolutely shattered that I'm home, but I need to curl my hair, which I'm in the process of doing, and then put fake tan on. Oh, I want to do is sleep. Good morning. It is 25 past nine. I've got up. Showered, washed the fake tan off. Oh, tried to make myself feel a little bit better because obviously I'm a wee bit ill. I think I will take one of these just now. It is still my throat that's the worst, but my nose is starting, which isn't the best. You know what? I've got to take an antihistamine first. I'll be taking paracetamol before I go out as well. Um, <coughs> Jesus Christ. And it has to mean to combat the stuffiness, strep cell to combat the throat. And now, see the back paper that's in tablet boxes. So annoying. Right, I'm gonna put the makeup on. Hopefully, it doesn't take me much longer than half an hour, 40 minutes for a basic face but I will come back when the makeup is all done and I'll show you my outfits. Right I've put my hair up in my signature Rhiannon style Um, what's new? Of course I'm going to do my hair like this so I'm going to show you the outfits 
So you put what I'm putting on, then I need to take accessorise, I need fixies, wee bits in my hair, lipstick, decide what bag I'm taking, and then I'll be waiting on my taxi. I left my outfit more last minute than usual. Usually I have it sitting and I just don't try it on until the last minute. For this night out, I had nothing. Nothing new, nothing festive that I wanted to wear. So yesterday before work, me and Scott, one of the other managers, went into as done. I was expecting a nice festive display because it's not been Christmas yet. New Year is still coming up. Where is the festive display? Tell me why. It was all in the sale. Literally all in the sale. So, it was very slim pickings in Asda, which I'm quite disappointed about because Asda usually have really nice clothes. But, I picked up this very basic, bog standard, midi black dress. I will wear it. It's very my style. Um, and I did get it for £9. But I was just thinking, like, this black tights, black boots. But then I was like, mm -mm, where's the festive style? Do you know? But I will wear this, just not today. Then after work, me and George went into Tesco. Same thing again. They had no festive display and everything was in the sale. So I did pick up this shirt, very shimmery, metallic, and this was in the sale and this was £10. So I'm thinking I'm going to wear this and then this skirt wasn't in the sale. Picked up this midi denim skirt. These were everywhere during the summer, they really came in. So I thought I'd put this on with this shirt and either Converse or a pair of boots. But let me try this on, see how I like it, and then we can move on. But I think this is what I'm gonna go for. I don't think I'm gonna wear that dress. Right, everything fits, but the way this shirt sits, I can't pull it out, like, and make it look nice. There's always got to be something that just ruins everything. Do you know what, I'll just, I'll just literally need to do because there is nothing else I can do about this. Right, put the converse on with it and I'm going to put on a belt. Just going to have to deal with the stupid way the shirt looks. But let's put on a wee belt, drink up a wee bit. And this skirt is a bit big. I went for a 16 because it was denim and obviously comfort. So I went for a 16 so it is a little bit big. But, right. Just a couple of necklaces, the wee star one and the Libra one, of course. Right, now I need to figure out what bag I'm taking and a jacket. I actually don't think I have a jacket that will go with this, apart from my mum got me one for Christmas, so I might need to open it early. Honestly, what a fucking palaver. Right, thank you. Go away. So, my manager, it's going to be late. Can't make that train, so I've then had to cancel the book in uh, the Appy Cab that I already had, which I couldn't cancel on that, so I had to phone up. They weren't answering. The driver was already on their way. I could see that they were on their way. I feel rotten. They have let me book another one, which is great <laughs> because. Mm. So get the next train. I had to message other managers to be like, have you just left yet? I thought I was going to have to um, cancel the book in, get another book in. Oh my god, go away. I hate how my phone is connected to my, my, my laptop. But I, but it's fine. The other two managers will be in town before us. Our train gets in at half past. So we'll be just showing up a wee bit late to our book in, which is fine. The other two managers will be there. But I'm just like, oh my fucking god. But I didn't know what this boozy brunch like entailed. We get five drinks. I started at a main, but I just chose to start ours. But how good is that? Like five drinks for $3.95. How is my lipstick off already? Yeah.
little drink cause you can't shoot a whiskey. Right now, he's probably out behind her with a broomstick showing her how to shoot a combo. Right now, he's probably out behind her with a broomstick showing her how to shoot a combo. Oh my god. Hello. It is Friday. And I'm finished work. We early finish because a lot of the kids went home. I have been slightly hungover today. But we got there. We powered through work. <laughs> Quiet, chill day. Went to BM, picked up the hampers, things for hampers. Um went into Asda, got some bits. So I need to make hampers tonight. I also need to tidy this room because it looks like a bomb such at. But I'm wearing one of my new pair of shoes. I actually got a white pair as well. I got them for vintage. These ones I'm wearing just now were 30 or 25. And I got the same style, but in white. With a wee bit of checkered at the back. So to me from me. From me to, to me from you. That's perfect. But that is me now off until Christmas Day, because I'm working Christmas Day this year. Tonight, I'm meant to be going out again. Harry's friends having a wee Christmas party. And I don't, I don't know. My hair needs a wash. I'm already a wee bit hungover. Do I want to drink again? Definitely not. Am I going to? Probably, because it is the festive season. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow, we're going out for dinner and drinks for Harry's mum's birthday. They say I'm not looking forward to the next few days as an understatement. Right, the room is nice and tidy. So, I've got a bunch of flowers for one of the individuals that I look after. So I've got those and a girl from work got me a present as well. She always does it, like last year she got me a gift and she really doesn't need to do it, but um, she got me a gift so that'll go under my tree until Christmas day. I went and picked up um, my birthday slash Christmas present from Sean. Um, another bag obviously right into getting my bag and I'm so grateful but it's a diesel one it came in a wee dust bag and you've probably seen these bags all around but the black denim how nice is that so another bag to add to my collection thank you Sean so that needs to go away and then I picked up a tattoo voucher for my stepmom 
And as that, I've seen this print on towels and hand towels. So I picked up two towels and two hand towels. And then I got some card as well anyway. So a card for my dad and card for Harry. So I need to write those, put these towels away. I, I love the checkerboard print. And then massive B&M bag. Fully hampers and hamper stuff. When I was in b &M, though, they had one hamper left. One hamper. So I had to go to Pound Stretchers. And by the way, I wish I went into Pound Stretchers for my Christmas decorations this year. It's one shop I didn't go in this year and the decorations are actually so, so nice. So, right. Now it's sort of the hamper, we've got to do it quick and separate them. So this is a hamper I picked up from... Oh my nose. Pound stretchers, dad. And this one, b &M. and Now we have all the goodies to go through. Cool, mum and Jill's hamper done. What a bloody mess. We're on the floor. This is my bad tamper done. I think that's so cute. That bow is so much cuter than the actual bow on this one. But that's fine. Two of the hampers are now done. Well, actually, that is me. That is me done. Hello. As you can probably tell, I've had a wee nap, had a wee nap on the couch, decided not to go out tonight. Harry has decided to go out tonight, that's absolutely fine. That just wasn't happening for me. <laughs> uh, my head is actually still sore, I've just took more paracetamol. I'm just going to chill tonight, I'm going to figure out what I want to eat for dinner, order that. Order a takeaway of some sort, obviously. Uh, tomorrow... My mum is taking me food shopping, but I'm just buying stuff. I mean, I suppose I could buy a bit more because my mum's taking me now. Me and Harry are going to have a Christmas day on Christmas Eve, so we're going to have, like, a Christmas dinner and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get stuff for that tomorrow. So me and my mum are doing that. Um, I'll give her all her gifts. Um, what else? That's about it, really. So I think after I show you what I choose to get for dinner... Unless I end up doing anything else, I think I will end the vlog tonight and pick up the vlog again tomorrow when we're out shopping and then we have Harry's mum's birthday dinner and drinks. So, yeah, just a chill one for me tonight. Honestly, only me. It would only happen to me. So, I was indecisive about what I wanted and I was like, right, I'm going to get everything. Literally everything. Did not confirm my order. So now I've had to order for somewhere that's a lot more expensive and only got half the stuff I wanted. So I'm like, few man. Absolutely few man. But anyway, it's fine. My trusty Delish is saving me as per usual. So I'm waiting on my Delish coming. Sorry. How fancy is this bag? It's like a proper. Wee bag, I've never got a bag like that for this place before. Okay, dinner. Their onion rings are usually so much better. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is just not my night. Very pale onion rings. They're usually really nice and crispy. And I can't even put them in the air fryer because our things are hot, so I can't use the air fryer. Piri piri chips. I've um, got some dips you must have got a dip free i should have remembered that and nachos but here is how my takeaway looks okay so it's quarter past nine and i am going to go to bed <coughs> my head is still bouncing i've taken paracetamol it's not helping so i'm gonna go in my bed so this will officially be the end of Vlogmas week three. I will start my new vlog tomorrow um, and probably continue that obviously after Christmas. Vlogmas has just been a bit weird this year, do you know, the way it's worked out. But 
I feel like this week has been more successful than last week. Um, I've been in a better kind of mood than I was last week. And being able to do a bit more festive things, although I'm still not feeling in the overall festive spirit. I still haven't watched a Christmas movie. What the actual hell? I've not watched The Grinch, I've not watched Elf, I've not watched Home Alone, Polar Express, like literally any of them. So I need to watch The Grinch. <laughs> um, and maybe Christmas Eve. I feel like today has been one of those days where literally everything so small has just been me off. But yeah, right. I've got to go to bed. I will start a new vlog tomorrow and I will talk to you tomorrow. But thank you for watching Vlogmas Week 3.